Aloha, welcome to a special video edition of Girls Gone Geek. I'm just very excited and I really had to share this with you. I just got this bag and many who know me would call me a bag enthusiast. So this is a really special photography bag. So if you're somebody who likes to carry your camera around, you'll want to stay tuned and watch this. I decided to share with you why I think it's so cool. So let me get started. There are many photographers who like to walk around with their photography gear and they might not necessarily want to carry the camera around their neck. So this bag makes taking photographs on the go very easy. Why? Let me show you. Uh, before I show you what's inside the bag, I'm actually just going to pick this up by the single strap, put it over my head, and here we go. So I'm cruising down the street. Oh, hey, look. Ooh, wow, that would be a really cool picture, right? So all I have to do with this bag is swing it around, open it up, and grab my camera out of it. Oops, grab my camera out of it. Lens cap off, snap photograph, snap. Put this back on, put it back in the bag, close it up. Now, you're probably saying, you know what? I have a sling bag and I can do that same thing, but you don't have this sling bag. This bag is made by Kata and you can check it out at kata-bags.com. However, this bag actually is not going to be out until mid-July, but here's another thing about this bag. So here, and I'll show you everything in a minute, is another pocket where I can take out my polarizer filters or extra batteries or anything else that I might need to have at hand. When I'm done using it, I can prop it right back up onto my shoulder and go about my business. Again, let me show you something. I'm gonna take this off. And here's what makes this bag a little bit unique. Whether you are left-handed or right-handed, this bag actually has another strap. Ha ha. So based on the way that I have it configured now, it's for a right-handed photographer. If you're left-handed, you can use this strap and make the same configuration. Detach this strap here. Take that off. And you can either tuck it away or make it into a backpack. Or you can even crisscross the straps across your body if you want to have the sling feature readily available. It's just so cool. So, like I said, it, this is a little bit different than any other sling bag you've seen. Now you're saying, okay, well, if I set it up on this side, the pockets aren't gonna be on the other side. Oh, but on the contrary. The bag actually on both sides has the same configuration. So whether you're left or right-handed, you can still open it up. Now what you're gonna see is the bottom part of my configuration because I have it set up on the right-hand side. So I just have some extra stuff, by the way, there's room in here, for extra stuff. And you can figure it any way that you want to, but like I said, the great thing about this is you can set it up whether you're left or right-handed. So this bag is the Kata 3N1-20, part of their digital photography series, and now I want to show you, take you inside the bag and show you again why this bag is so cool. So let's start here actually since we're looking on this side. There's a pocket like this on the other side of the bag as well, but if I unzip this, I've got my SIG water bottle. I always need the water, but you can put anything else in there if you want to. I'll actually open up this other side. And in this bag I've got a polarizing filter, I've got a microfiber cloth, Got a couple of batteries, more batteries, and let's dig right into the side here. I'm going to open it up and show you what I've got inside this camera compartment. I've got my Canon 30D uh, with the L plate for my Arca Swiss type uh, mount for my tripod. This actually also fits in here with a battery grip, which actually I don't have on my camera right now, but that does fit. And inside the bag, I've also got my Lens Baby extra lenses. Got a little pouch with some extra things, Allen wrench to take the uh, L plate off, on and off of that. I also have my awesome 14 millimeter super wide angle rectilinear corrected lens. What else have I got in here? Lots of stuff. 
got my speed light, my Canon. Got yet another microfiber cloth. I guess I like those, having those around. I've got my 3G lens baby, right? So all that stuff fit in this bag, right in the side, available for me to grab whenever I want to. So I'm gonna just come back up to this side here. On the other side of the bag, which you saw before was kind of the bottom part of my configuration, because it's set up on the, for a right-handed photographer. Got my blower. I've got my SD card reader. So, ooh, one thing I forgot to show you. Let me go back to this side of the bag. We've got a removable pocket that's Velcro for extra memory cards. So you can put this on either side, again, whether you choose to use it this way or the other way. So I'm going to put that back in there. And you're thinking, that's a lot of stuff. Well, we're not done yet. So another cool feature is this handle part. So if you do take it off, you can actually just grab it by that. And I'm going to open this top part up. And I will tell you, actually, ladies, this has actually become my purse. I know I'm a nerd, but this is, has become my purse. Inside the top portion here, I've got Canon G9. Sometimes I like to do the video. I've got my sunglasses. Gum, always need gum. Ooh, hand sanitizer, always need that. Got a little case here that's got some lotion and some things in it. Uh, wallet. iPhone. Mm, what's in here? Mm, business cards in that pocket. Here I've got keys. Got house keys in here. House keys, office keys in this little pocket here. So you can see why I like this bag so much. So before I let you go, I'll swing this bad boy around one more time. And you'll see here I have my Gorillapod tripod connected to the front of this bag because there is a D-ring on the front of it that you can connect things to. This, it'll be hard to see it, but this black uh, elastic thing that you see here, I actually purchased this at a place called Adventure 16. Um, you can get them at like REI, Home Depot, and it allows you to attach things to stuff like this. So these don't come with the bag, but you can use it to attach like the Gorilla Pod, for example. So I hope you found this uh, exciting as I have. I actually really, really like this bag. This is something I've really been waiting for. The sling style for somebody who likes to walk around with photography gear and go on photo safaris, this is unmatched. So again, this is the Kata, so you can check it out, kata-bags.com, and it's the 3N1 dash 20 and it'll be available mid-July and I believe its street price will be about $105 US somewhere between $105 and $120 US and this is the very first one in the country that has been let out to be reviewed so I'm very excited about that oh to remember this bag is actually a medium sized bag and to give you an idea when you saw it on me I'm a whopping four foot eleven inches oh four foot eleven and three quarters inches I always got to take the three quarters so four foot 11 and three quarter inches is how tall I am. So you'll see what size this bag, the medium bag is. Uh, there are going to be, a, there is going to be a small size and a large size to this, but what you see here is the medium. So definitely check it out. And in the comments, please let me know what you think of it. What are types of things that you look for in your bags that you want to carry your photographer, photographers, that you want to carry things around. Uh, I'm really interested and I want to be able to give feedback to the Kata people to, find out how they might be able to improve this bag, but it's pretty awesome already. So this is Liana from girlsgonegeek.tv. Again, if you have any questions or comments, please visit us on our blog, girlsgonegeek.tv, or send me an email at girlsgonegeek at gmail.com. And until next time, we will see you later.